Hi and welcome to another video with me, Fernandez, and with uh, City Skylines and uh, with Kakota. So welcome back to the islands. Um, welcome to, of course, noise pollution. But welcome to the island nonetheless. Um, and this is the second episode of the new series, Kakota. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I hope you are doing well in quarantine. Uh, I hope that you're staying healthy, and I hope that I can help you with some form of form of entertainment but anyway uh, now that that's out of the way um you guys have really been sharing support on the last episode and i really appreciate that uh, there are like five likes and i usually only get two barely three somewhere around that nowhere near five except for my older videos on Tio town which are arguably very much more popular i guess back in the days at least uh but I appreciate all of your, um, you know, support. You guys have been watching it like crazy as well. 51 views, I think it is currently now, at, at, at least at the time of recording. So I don't usually get this, that uh, those kind of views, but thank you nonetheless. Um, but anyway, uh, last episode, we basically laid out the whole road layout of the city that we're going to do. Still have no name of the city. Uh, if you guys want to suggest any name, that'll be very nice good because it'll help me uh, and also uh, we plop down the essentials you know electricity uh, water uh, which are temporary and waste as well those are all temporary and garbage but the non-temporary ones are these commercial ones and then the uh, residential ones as well um, and a shopping mall I guess I think and then a uh, police station a fire department uh, school and the essential stuff, uh, hospital as well. But in a, uh, anyway, that's what we did last time. And also, uh, last time I also mentioned that uh, we might be moving on to the airport in a few episodes. I might push it back a little bit since I just I like there. I I was supposed to have another episode before project. Uh, before Project Is of Heroes, there was supposed to be a European based project, but after tackling the airport, uh, the safe just, I don't know, I guess my setup is not strong enough. I hope one day I'll be doing it, and I know that one day I will do it over in here, at least I hope. But anyway, I don't think it's gonna be in the next few episodes, I think I'm gonna tackle the whole city first, and then I'm gonna move on to the airport, so at least I can get the city done, uh, before potentially ending the series after the airport. But if my setup does hold up to the like, uh, if my setup can still support the game after the whole airport thing, then I guess I'll be continuing the airport as well. Also, if you're hearing like road sounds like like that, like the motorcycle that just passed, or helicopters or planes or anything like that, well, I live in a pretty, I live pretty close to the airport, and of course my house is on like. Uh, has a road connection on it so there's nothing I can do about that uh, but anyway what we'll do today is we'll do the beach this one will be the beach part one uh, so this will be the I am calling it the beach walk but I'm not sure if it's a beach walk cuz I don't know I don't know if I've ever been on a beach walk but uh, we'll be tackling the beach infrastructures those are the essential ones so parking beach walk I guess it's a beach walk uh, a cycling lane and a few toilets, public toilets, and an information kind of building as well. So that's what we'll be tackling today. A lot of details, I can tell you that right now. That's why the episode is 33 minutes long. Right here, right now, I'm gonna be laying out the entrance, I guess. Uh, but the focus of today is the beach infrastructure itself. So just the infrastructure. So not much dealing on the sand itself, but a lot of detailing on the infrastructure side of things so as i've mentioned earlier um toilets parking uh, this is gonna be the so-called beach walk i don't know if i'm gonna call it a beach walk because i don't know what the beach i don't really know and i i also don't want to call something a thing that isn't it if you get what i'm saying but anyway i enjoy doing it so whatever um also uh again sorry for the noise <laughs> but anyway 
Uh, there will be a cycling lane as well, and there will be a rest, not a restaurant, but like a food food courtish kind of area, I guess. It's like, so yeah, I don't know how to call it, but anyway. Um, and this is a cycling lane from after dark, I think. I think. Uh, but anyway, that's what it is. There will be a total of um, a total of. I'm not sure how much, but there are a few, uh, like toilets, and there's only one information booth, but with plenty of information boards, I guess. And over there, there will be like this kind of cool, like I don't know. I I really like the detail, and I did. If you follow my Twitter, you will see one of them, which is the first one that will build. Um, you can already know what the result is of the first uh, toilet or. Uh, information building is because I I've posted it on Twitter and you guys seem to like it. 13 likes, not bad. Uh, three retweets, thank you as well. Um, again for the good amount of support. Uh, I am using it as a park area over here, but I didn't like default uh, on by default the ticket price for going into a park is around twenty. Uh, 20 bucks. I don't know what the currency of this um, game is, but 20 of those. But I just lowered it to one because it's nothing is really that expensive in this country, especially for visitors. Nothing is really that expensive for visitors, but for local stuff will still be expensive because labor costs are different. But anyway, um, that's a whole other topic, but. Here are the entrances, and on every entrances, well not every, every apart from a few, I think two or three, all of them except for those two or three will have some kind of infra- infrastructure, it doesn't matter if it's uh, a public restroom or a uh, information booth, or just benches. Well, yeah, for benches, every in each and every one of them will have benches on them. And the concept is, um, there will be paths uh, that will connect from one to the other kind of entrances so you can utilize it to walk along the beach but it's not a paved path like the one you're seeing right now it's gonna be a gravel path but because of the because of the map uh, map team what map team that i'm using which is uh, seychelles which is a good map team um the texture is different i think Actually, now that I think of it, I am using uh, Team Mixer 2, so I'm not sure if it's the Seychelles Gravel team, but might be, might not be, but anyway, I like the texture, so I used it anyway. There'll be a lot of decals as well, a lot of props as well. Um, I do have to confess that um, in the beginning, there are a lot of prop detailing, but uh, closer, to, closer to the end, I didn't really bother with putting down a lot of that props as uh, more so like a lot, a lot of the trash like I put a lot of trash on the under the bushes on the first one but not really on the other ones just to save time and because I really want to get this out of the world out out to the world since you know I like I like showing these things because this is what I like doing on my off time uh, but anyway uh, there will be a lot of cuts here and there just because um, I, I want to save my storage is, is, which is getting pretty slim and um, I, I really want to just get them out you know um, so here is what we'll be doing today this is actually in game that is from the park life DLC and that is um, a info it's a restroom but I'm using it as a information booth but either way I'm using surface painter right there to draw this stuff but later on I will be replacing those uh, surface painter kind of gravel thing with real paths so people can actually walk on them and everything so you can see what I'm doing right now right so bring down all these gravel stuff or maybe these gravel stuff are actually vanilla I'm not sure um, but anyway 
oh also uh, about the big cuts that i mentioned earlier there will be some cuts here and there uh because i'll be i should be making one on camera we're not well not one but a few on camera and i'll just do a few of the rest of camera just to save storage of, as i've mentioned earlier but here i'm just showing this one first because it's the best one i think and these ones are rocks from strict toaster those are the breakwater rocks i think those are called from strict toaster pretty nice asset um i've been holding on to them for a few a long time now i just didn't have the right time to didn't have the right kind of project to actually use them so right now i'm using them since they actually fit what i'm doing but right now what i'm doing is i'm creating a platform for a food court kind of thing uh, so people can can go eat here they can sit down they can drink and stuff you know they can buy from uh, one of the two uh what do you call them food stands i guess so yeah pretty nice area very chill as well um, I think it turned out great. This is the one that I'm posted that I've posted a picture on Twitter So if you haven't followed me on Twitter, then you should totally go ahead and do it. But it's up to you, of course um, Like link is down below and everything like that. But anyway, now I'm doing the wall thing um, This is really nice guys. Of course, I didn't want them to just float in the air because that's just unrealistic So I ended up building this instead which looks nice and this one this one is king leno's um glass fence prop i guess it's the glass thing glass gate port prop uh, from king leno they're very great they're actually transparent as you can see um so i really love this asset the, the community of city skies is very nice uh, they have some very creative uh creations they also have some very realistic ones as well so that's very nice um i stumbled on uh, i i I don't, I don't know which asset i grabbed that required these ones but at first i was reluctant but then now i'm very happy that um i've decided to grab these assets but anyway those are just the fen uh, fences but now i'm doing some decals since uh, i don't want to make it just a uh pave platform instead of instead of that i i like doing this um these decals add a lot of uh flavor if you get what i mean i guess it's not bland it it gives it a taste of some sort i guess it's pretty hard to explain but whatever i hope you understand also here here are the uh quote-unquote food stands i uh, in game they are called I'm not sure they're calling game, but they're from the Park Life DLC. So these are vanilla. But the tables, uh, table is vanilla, but the umbrella is from King Leno again, I think, from the umbrella pack. Pretty sure, but yeah, I just copied copy them and you know rotate them so it doesn't look too repetitive. If you do this, but I think it turns out pretty great. Um, putting down trash can here and there, also lighting later on, of course. I don't want this to be like uh, dark, like what do you call? Them? Yeah, like too dark um, at night. So yeah. Also, I think that uh, I don't like if you go to Indonesia. I don't think any of the, this kind of thing exists. I think uh, at least the beaches that I've gone to, and it's especially on the rural beaches, which are very cool. I think they're very untouched. And because they're very untouched, um, usually the infrastructure is just um, like bungalows, I guess. But they're pretty cool. They're very unique. What I'm doing now is my in my mind, I guess, is that um, the government of this island, the island of Kakota, uh, has actually um, like. Uh, like prepare the funds for tourism since in my mind tourism is the main source of income of this island which is something you know pretty common in Indonesia for the islands of like Bali and stuff like that so yeah um, so right now I'm just uh, replacing the lights because those ones were pretty bad but the ones that I'm replacing them now are a little bit more realistic but over here more importantly 
have the bench setup that I'm gonna be copying and pasting over the peach area so you can expect to see a lot of those as well uh, those does uh, provide lighting which is also crucial since I don't want them pitch black or anything like that but anyway um, there will be palm trees since this is a tropical island and this is a beach but there will be also those kind of park areas with just normal trees that are maintained by the beach authorities as well I guess but anyway uh, palm trees there are like uh, palm trees that are planted by the authorities but there are also like uh, not neutral, natural, natural uh, palm trees that grew by themselves, of course, but like, yeah, like these ones. So you can see two styles of palm trees. Uh, one of them is very messy and very neutral looking, and the other one's very plant, uh, for lack of a better word, but yeah. Also, if you've noticed the background, the trees on the like on the islands like over there like surrounding the cities and around the islands those are actually low poly trees now low tri trees now since um if not the frame rate just it just it's just very low so it's something it's a change that i welcome but you know i hope you guys agree as well for the sake of the future of the series but anyway here these are the props that I'm talking about, trash props, but yeah, won't be doing them a lot play around, but yeah, over here in the beginning, um, I did manage to pop in just a little bit like this, well, I mean, it's not really a little bit, but you get what I'm saying, pretty sure, um, but anyway, um, again, I need to remind myself that this is Indonesia. I mean, this is uh, Southeast Asia, not the cleanest part of the world, but you know, um, we are clean on some places, but on some of the bad part of towns, not really. But you know, also putting the trash over there just puts a little bit of like a little more realism, realism, yeah, that, and putting down cracks, very good. Uh, this one, by the way, if you haven't heard me saying it, uh, I got the inspiration from Skibeth, but yeah, one of the huge inspiration in my city skylines quote unquote career. That is not really a career right now, but hopefully in the future. Uh, but anyway, a lot of the big universe of city skylines, man, these are just my inspiration. Um, but anyway, now I'm just putting down all the decals. These are Ronex 69s. Uh, I think it's Ronex, um, dirt decals, but I'm not sure. I need to check up on that, but I think they are, maybe they're not. I, I'm sorry if they're not, but yeah. These ones, these ones are Malaysian assets from Jaka. I'm not sure about how you can pronounce it, but yeah. Um, so I figured I'll just put them here. Um, just as a name, just for the name of the food stand, I guess. But I ended up making them into one since the sign over here is actually pretty big and will not fit only one. So now it's called Medan Kata Ikan Bakar, which in Bahasa will be um, frog area, um, grilled fish, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, Medan is also a city, but yeah, anyway, uh, right now I'm just dealing with the path, so I did make like a real path out of this, so that it actually works and everything like that, um, but that's what I'm doing, and if you see me freeze like this, I'm probably, probably going to Google Earth for inspiration and whatnot, but right now I'm just, you know, uh, I'm trying to connect them. And yeah, that pretty much works. Uh, right now, I'm working on the uh, so-called beach walk. I don't know if it's really a beach walk, but a path on the beach um, that is connecting all of the infrastructure, beach infrastructure, 
there will be some kind of details around here you know uh, dirt decals sand decals um, benches trees um, trash cans trash and um, street lamps as well so there'll be decent a decent amount of um, details and also I think on over here they're like actually I'm not sure but you can see the sand decals I think those are I'm not sure who made those I forgot I'm sorry but very much thank you very helpful very nice decal but those are originally made for the Osara Osara um, the doors 20 and skibes series back in the days still works very nicely now like it adds a bit of a transition from the sand to the gravel path but yeah right here I was attempting to create a ball art to separate the car and the pedestrians um, but later on I did end up changing this to just a curb uh, curb divider instead of a whole lot of bollards like that because those are actually very hard to precision like very hard to get it precisely right if you get what I'm saying so I just I just ended up sticking with the curbs but on the next episode which will be uh, I forgot to mention this but next episode next episode will be detailing the beach area the sand area and this port walk as well I guess it's a beach walk I guess uh, but yeah, we'll be doing that. So uh, next episode, we will actually put down more bollards, but a different kind of bollards. But yeah, that's next episode. Hopefully, you guys can stick around until that episode comes out. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna stay uh, since uh, this is what we're doing now. Uh, but anyway, this one is actually a Malaysian asset as well. Uh, Malaysian road sign pack, I guess. Pretty similar to Indonesian ones, I guess they're like the general ones in Southeast Asia or something like that, so pretty close to general. Um, but anyway, um, as you can see there, like, right, the sand and the gravel path mix in very well, like the sand, very nice. Also right there, I'm just putting down palm trees and bushes uh, between them, so that works. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, Right now, I'm just copying the bench uh, to create more. Oh, what? What just happened to the recording? I'm not sure. Okay, here we are. Uh, copying them to get more lights and get more trash cans. So, yeah, that works. Um, also, in Indonesia, uh, you don't really see people having uh, like uh, chilling on the beach with a with a umbrella. That doesn't really happen. Uh, usually, don't carry umbrellas, but you will see them on a few of uh, on a beach where there are uh, visitors from abroad, abroad or overseas. You do see umbrellas because the visitors are actually using them but locals usually doesn't use them I don't think I've ever seen one uh, well maybe there are some but it's not that common usually you just take out the uh, well beach towels I guess or like place to uh, what do you actually call those things like the rocks I guess are, are you G's like the stuff that you sit on when you're pic when you're having a picnic, like we just use those on the beach, which I guess also like a lot of other countries also do. But I don't know. I'm not from outside of Indonesia. I'm from Indonesia, so I'm not sure. But anyway, this is what, what the one of the many to come uh, toilets from for the beach. So changing rooms, the usual toilet stuff. So sinks, toilets. Um, and urinals I guess and stuff like that but on this side there isn't really any space to do really anything so I ended up just putting a park here just like the ones on the side of the pass so at first I did try to make something to utilize the space but turns out there's nothing much I can do uh, so if you heard that cracking that's just my finger yeah excuse me for that I guess 
But anyway, I did attempt making another platform just like the one on the first one, but I ended up scrapping the idea just because the space doesn't make sense. Uh, like doesn't make sense. It, it's not that wide. It's not that uh, space rich. I guess I don't know. There's not a lot of space. That's what I'm trying to say. So it doesn't make sense. So I ended up scrapping the idea and just making it into a park or a garden of some sort. Well, well, I don't know if it's a garden. I'm pretty sure it's not as good as uh, other YouTubers, but I'm trying my best. So also I appreciate your support. Really do. Um, but anyway, uh, if you guys can hit the like button, maybe share it for uh, to someone that you might know that uh, also loves this kind of content. Also, maybe subscribe as well because it'll help me a lot. And turn on that bell, I guess, since you know, yeah, why not? But anyway, um, we still have a few minutes. I mean, a few ten of like. I don't know, I'm not sure, 31 minutes is the end of the time lapse, I think, I'm not sure. But right here, I'm doing these tile, tile decals from Ronix, I think, uh, by the logo on the thing. Um, it does work over here, but it is pretty hard to get them look, uh, get them to look uh, realistically, but uh, to get them looking realistic i guess that's what i'm trying to say but yeah i did my best um so it ended up looking okay again stay tuned for the cinematics there'll be lots of stuff um pretty nice stuff as well as i uh, if i may say but yeah anyway over here is my second attempt they just using a decal but i just gave up and just continued that's a lot of motorcycles so i i apologies 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 i apologize for that but anyway uh i just ended up continuing the path thing uh, now I'm doing the bushes on this side because I don't want people jumping or I don't want people hurting themselves uh, but over here just like the other ones I ended up making a garden quote-unquote garden uh, uh, like on this side uh, this is what I'm gonna do for a lot of the other infrastructure entrances like a lot of the other beach entrances so that's why I'm not gonna actually show you a lot of the buildings of the um, other part of the entrances but of the other entrances but yeah might sound confusing but i hope you get what i'm saying also apologies if i uh, if my english is not that good i'm again i'm not from any english speaking country Bahasa indonesia is my uh, native language and i am from indonesia so apologies but i'm trying my best to entertain but anyway um just detailing more stuff uh, on this I thought I can like squeeze in these ones but not sure it might work yeah yeah that, that ended up working pretty well um, there will be like a information boards um, then there will be benches as well um, more trash decals yeah here's what I'm doing now um, uh, one lesson that I learned from this one is to detail from the ground up well that means uh the higher the thing is just like well what i'm trying to say is detail uh put down the benches before the trees because it's pretty hard to see them after so i'm just uh choosing which one i'm gonna use for the um, information board and i found this one from the nature reserve uh pack uh from the dlc pack park life i think it works pretty nice so i ended up using it uh, ends up pretty, looking pretty cool and also I ended up putting a lamp post above it so that people can actually see it at night time but yeah I didn't show it now and also now that I think of it doesn't really make, make sense uh, because um, people don't go to the beach at night usually right uh, so anyway but yeah that's the whole concept of it um next episode will be putting down the like on we'll be detailing the beach area itself the sand area i'll be detailing a little bit more on the pedestrian kind of side as well over here i went a little bit overboard and i actually think that i did went a little bit overboard uh, with the details on this one but you no know, 
I like it at the end so I was wondering whether if I like it now that's it uh, but anyway yeah putting down some banana trees and uh, palm trees and some other trees as well by the way I don't think banana trees grow on the beach but I'm not sure uh, but anyway uh, it just looks nice so that's why I popped it in anyway um, I did think that the trees over here the foresty area on this side is pretty it's a little bit too much so I ended up tripping it tripping it trimming it cutting it I ended up cutting it out I ended up like cutting it short I guess like there's a little bit too much still but I did both sides not less um, I did uh, put down more foot styles and uh, more foot cards and uh, more new stands and yeah earlier around but that's also what I did uh, now we're actually on the 30 minute mark I don't think my video is actually 31 minutes I think it's around 36 minutes or 38 minutes or 33 minutes I'm not sure uh, but that's the time lapse actually but yeah anyway see uh, I end up cutting it short since yeah, that that mo that makes more sense. Right. Okay, we're gonna be tackling one last entrance, and this one is. I end up recording this one since it's only gardens, so there is no real infrastructure. So, the first type of entrance is the one with the info booth and the food court thing area. The next one is the garden with the toilet, and this one is only the garden. So yeah, so you can kind of get what I'm building off camera since this is only three of the six or seven entrances i think i'm not sure uh that i built off camera since yeah i want to save up storage so yeah also i want to make this a little bit shorter because i mean this can easily go 15 minutes if i did end up detailing all of them but anyway um i only did this one for the uh, reasons that i just told you uh but anyway um as you can see, I will also quote unquote detail the pedestrian areas off camera, but just a little bit, just putting down curbs and in it and just curbs and nothing else. Next episode, uh, next episode will be tackling the sand area, the beach area, um, and the pedestrian area, and the cycling kind of area. No, uh, I think that'll be pretty good, a pretty good episode as well. Stay tuned for that. Probably next week or next six days or something. Or five days if you're lucky or less than that if you're even more luckier luckier yeah i guess so um but you know stay tuned for that um it's coming pretty close to the end of the episode so i guess i'll just close it here um you know continue watching for the cinematics i hope you enjoy the cinematics i hope you enjoy the timeless itself i hope you don't uh, i hope you enjoy my commentary as well uh i hope you like yeah i i i hope you like the video and Please do, if you do, like the video, um, like the video, uh, share the video, um, subscribe as well, follow me on Twitter, uh, follow me on Instagram, both of those are on the links down below, and I hope you on the next one, uh, the next one should be next week probably, but yeah, anyway, enjoy the cinematics and I'll see you next time, alright, see ya.